Unit 8, exercise 5B. Listen and repeat. 1. Soap operas. 2. Documentaries. 3. Sports programs. 4. Game shows. 5. The news. 6. Chat shows. 7. Comedies. 8. Cartoons. Okay, that's it. I want you to read up to me, okay? Let's see so many types of TV programs. Which of them is your favorite? And which of them that you don't like? Okay, come on, let's do it. Number one, soap operas, right? Soap, soap operas. Come on, one, two, three, go. Operas, operas. Soap, 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 soap operas. Soap operas. Two, documentaries. Docu, docu. Docu, docu, documentaries. Documentaries. Sports. Sports programs. Sports programs. Game shows. Game shows. The news. The news. Chat show. Chat shows. Chat. Chat shows. Comedies. 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 Last one. Cartoons. Cartoons. From number one. Soap operas. Many, many people like watching soap operas, especially for women, because they think they can get love stories and some very interesting things from that soap operas. And that's for number two, documentaries. I think some people like watching documentaries because they want to know the truth about the whole world, and they can learn different kinds of things about the nature, about humans, about the world, and so many things. So I suggest students to watch documentaries because you can learn a lot from that program. And next one, sports programs. I think all the men love sports programs, including me. We like watching football games and basketball games. For example, 65. Yes, we can enjoy the sports programs for men. Maybe some women like that. And next one, game shows. Game shows is very popular games nowadays because people can, can learn some knowledge from that sometimes, right? In China, we have a lot of game shows. Um, we have some game shows for answering some very difficult math problems and some um, psychological things and, and so on. Some of them are not very difficult for you, but maybe sometimes quite easy for you to answer, right? Next one, the news. Um, we can learn the events from the world or from our own country, the news. Yes, if you want to know what's happening on the world. See the news. And next one, chat shows. Uh, I think it's for, for a lot of people who have, uh, have some leisure time, enjoy them and experience the stories they have, maybe you can learn something from that, from your heart, right? It's quite different from the documentaries because there are two persons or maybe three or four or more people uh, sitting together and talk about some very, very popular and uh, interesting topic for that. You may get some fun from that. Yes, just stay there and listen. And then comedies. Comedies is really for fun. I think all people love that. When you are tired, when you're angry, what comedies? It can make a laugh. Yeah, 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 right? Last one is cartoons. I think all the children love it, and including some adults like me, right? You know, I like, I sometimes tell this. I like cartoons, but not stupid cartoons, okay? That's all. So last time, I will read them for you again. You follow me, okay? From last one, cartoons, cartoons, comedies, comedies, chat shows, chat shows, the news, the news, game shows, game shows, sport program, sport program, documentaries, documentaries, soap operas, soap operas. Okay, number one, soap opera, 肥皂剧. 听听喜剧, documentaries, 纪录片, sports programs, 体育节目, game shows, 竞拍节目, 答疑节目, like 开心词典, or like 飞你, uh, 飞什么什么, blah, blah, whatever, right? The news, 新闻, chat shows, 
谈话聊天节目 ，comedies 喜剧 ，cartoons 卡通片啦。Okay, so much for that. So that's all the vocabulary about TV programs. And next one, pronunciation, compound nouns. Listen, is the stress on the first word or on the second word? Okay, so this part is for pronunciation, compound words. Do you know compound words? Compound words that means there are at least two words together. When you read them, you have to pay attention to the stress, not only the pronunciation. For example, number one. Tat shows. How can you say it? You cannot say tat shows. Support the programs. Game shows. That's terrible. Kill me, right? So today, the pronunciation part, you're going to learn how to say the words and pay attention to the stress. Stress, 重音，这个是在英文表达当中非常重要的部分。那么我马上会推出。呃，在十月份时候会推出呃美语的标准发声的训练课程，大家可以留意一下，是教大家如何说话的。没错，你说话的时候，这个听闻、这个语调、声调是要有变化的，不能像这样的说话。各位同学，我们接下来看这道题的重音在哪里？不用跟我多加这个题，你会疯的，因为这样说话没有重音。Okay, so listen up and find the stress. Is the stress on the first one? Or the second one. Listen and read. Unit eight, exercise six A. Listen. Is the stress on the first or second word? Chat shows. Game shows. Sports programs. Okay. Did you find stress? I think it's difficult for you to find stress, right? Oh, that's all. So quick. Ah, 这么快听完了，我还没找到重音。Where stress? Number one, chat shows, chat shows, game shows, game shows, sports program, sports program, soap operas, soap operas. Yes. Let's see from number one. Chat shows. Chat shows. Chat shows. 那么这个谈话节目这个单词在发音的时候，它的重音 stress 是在第一个单词上面。你试一下。Chat shows. 那么在标重音的时候，我们其实我们在初学语音的时候应该带一个手势，这样就知道在说话时候应该强调哪个 focus 在哪个词上面。我们来试一下。如果我们把 stress 重音给调换位置之后，会发生什么样的后果 ？Right. For example, number one, chat shows. Okay, show me hand, show me hand, yeah, show me hand. Chat shows. That change. Chat shows. Chat shows. That's terrible, right? So you 这样读啊，这个发音就变味儿了 ，right? So once more, chat shows. Chat shows. No, chat shows. Chat shows. Chat 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 shows. Terrible. The next one. Game shows like game shows or game shows, game shows or game shows. Of course, game shows. That's better, right? 这样说更好一些 And next one, sports program or sports program, sports program or sports program. Which is better? And next one, soap operas or soap operas. Yeah. The second group, 第二组词，他们重音会在第二个词更好一些。Number one, 比如第一个 sports programs 体育节目，我们读成 sport programs, sports programs or sport programs, sport programs. That's okay. 这个读音在读的时候，其实你放在前边或者后边都是 OK。但是 sports programs 强调的是 sports， 而 sports program 强调的是 program。所以你在读的时候，如果你强调 programs。你就把重音放在后面。如果你强调是 sports， 那你就把 sports 来强调一下 sports program。我个人在读的时候，我会喜欢 sports program 在前边。所以第三个词我还是在自己读的时候放在第一个前面。好，第二组词 soap operas，soap operas 还是 soap operas？ 没错啦 
这四个词重音都在第一个单词上面更好一些。我们来试再读一下 ，OK？ Number one， chat shows， chat shows， chat 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 shows， game shows， game shows， game 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 shows， sport program， sport program， sport 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 program， good。And next one, soap operas, soap operas, soap 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 operas. Interesting, huh? 好玩是吗 ？Okay, so last time to read it. Pay attention to stress, okay? 所以今天教大家的是我们的重音 ，okay? Once more, chat shows, game shows, sport programs, soap operas. Stress is very important. For example, 举个小例子，比如说加拿大这个词 ，Canada, Canada. 它有三个音节 ，C A N A D A。We often put stress on the first one。我们其实在读的时候把中音放在了第一个上面，所以是 Canada。See Canada Canada。如果你把中音放在了 second， 在第二个音节上就变成 Canada Canada。很奇怪吧？如果你把中音放在最后面了 ，Canada Canada。我的天，这个太可怕的读音了 ，right？ 你可以自己试下来。First 放在前面 ，Canada，Second 第二 ，Canada， 第三个 ，Canada，terrible，right？ So stress very important and useful。所以中音还是蛮有用的，也非常重要的。OK， 好，我们来读正音啦 ，Canada，Canada。OK， so m o r for that， this is pronunciation。A last part， listen and speaking。Listen to the two intervals. Complete the table with information about how often the two people watch TV. Uh, in the last time, do you remember that we learned adverbs of frequency, like always, sometimes, often, hardly ever, never? So we're going to listen to two dialogues and intervals, right? And put the words like this: three times a week, usually, blah blah, blah like this. Okay, I will play it for you. Listen 